So something really exciting just happened. I'm at work. I normally don't vlog at work, like all those papers behind me, but I am online. And you guys just got me to 5,000 subscribers. Like, what? Oh my gosh. This is insane. I'm like freaking out. 5,002 of you. 5,002, that's insane. This happened way faster than I ever thought it would happen. Here, let me show you. So I'm at my desk and there's 5,002 of you people that want to see my videos. That's just crazy that there's 5,002 of you that want to see my videos. Like, wow. My goal for this year, I'm actually gonna be talking about my goals like soon, like soonish in a video. Um, these are my vlogs, so they go up every day. Well, they're going up every day, but like I'm a day behind, you know what I mean? Because the day has to happen and then I'll put it up, you know what I mean? I need to watch my old YouTube video from last year for my like 2016 goals, but I remember that I had just hit a thousand subscribers last year, or was like just about to hit a thousand? I can't remember, it was like 975 or something like that, or I was like just hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. And I remember my, I remember my goal being 2000 subscribers. Like, and I'm, for the whole year, like that was my goal to like double. So that means in 2016, there's been 4,000 of you that have found my channel and decided, you know what? I wanna subscribe because I want to see this person's content every week. Like that just blows my mind. And I know there's like way bigger channels on YouTube, but this is just like crazy. It's kind of just blowing my mind. I don't even really know what to think right now. It's kind of intense and really, really cool too. And this is all because of you guys. Like I don't really have anything to do with this. Like I just bust out the camera and I put it in my face and I talk about stuff and put it on the internet. Yes, I do work, work. I like, like to use the term loosely, but this is like genuinely, I'm starting to really love doing YouTube. Like it's really, really fun. And also it's really rewarding to see like your comments and feedback and stuff like that. Like that's so rewarding for me because Okay, so whoever was over in the offices over there is gone now. They went in the back. But I was just getting to the most important part is that I'm gonna be doing a 5K giveaway. I'm not gonna be doing it on this video because I don't have all my prizes yet. This happened way too fast. I actually ordered a bunch of stuff and there's gonna be two winners. So there's gonna be two separate giveaway prizes and you can enter, you'll be able to enter for both is what I think I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna actually do the giveaway on my Facebook page. I will link that below. Feel free to like my Facebook page so you guys don't miss out on it because you will have to subscribe to like my YouTube channel as well as like my Facebook page to be eligible for the giveaway. But that is gonna happen as soon as I get back from vacation because I know that one of the items was back ordered and will be shipping to me hopefully while I'm on vacation. There is one box that's coming to me but I'm not sure if it actually has that item in it or not. I'm not really sure. I'm at the mercy of the delivery drivers right now. I think we all are, you know what I mean? So that being said, they are gonna be very large giveaways. Um, the two prizes, I think I was calculating the totals. I think they're gonna be very similar in price value, but I'm pretty sure that they're both gonna be over like $120 worth of stuff in each giveaway. So there's gonna be two of those, which is pretty insane, but I'm really excited. And it's really gonna be geared towards my audience. Um, a lot of the things that I use a lot are going to be in the video, if that gives you any hints. Maybe it does, maybe it does, maybe it does. Mm -hmm. So I am just super appreciative of every single one of you that watch my video, regardless if you subscribe or not. I am just excited to be on YouTube and excited to kind of create this little family that we have going on. And I can't wait to see what like next year has to hold too. Like this is gonna be so cool. And all you guys are so awesome. But anyway, I need to finish out my day at work because I'm like kind of trying to be quiet in the office. Um, no one's here at actually my end of the building right now, but there's another company that's in the same building that I kind of share a wall with and they're all there. So I just want to be kind of quiet. 
but I need to finish out my day. I have about 15 minutes until it is time to go. I actually need to call some people, which I have been putting off because I need to tell them that they didn't get the job because I have been interviewing for like two weeks straight and we just hired a new person. Or actually, I just hired a new person this morning. So anyway. <laughs> It's just a paperwork mess for me, um, but I have been putting off calling them for the last like half hour and I need to just get on it so I can let them know that, um, you know, unfortunately they did not get the job, but I am going to keep their resumes on file, which I totally will because we are growing like crazy here at work. So anyway, all right, well, I am going to go and when you see me again, I will be not in the office. dinner but I had a really late lunch today because I was so busy at work by the way you guys like it was intense um, the joys of leaving for like a week and a half oh the dog is out of food whatever I'll get him some food in a minute I'm not that horrible of a dog mom I mean sometimes I am but don't tell the Doyle police okay the dog is at his bowls they are empty he's judging me judgy judgy was a puppy okay I'm getting your water Doyle likes Brita water. Actually, I don't even know what he likes, but he seems to like it. Da -da 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 -da. Puppy dog. Okay, Doyle needs water. I need water too, so I'm gonna leave this out. I've got his foods. Here's his food. I actually get these uh, little bins at Walmart, which is like one of the only things I buy at Walmart because I can't handle Walmart. I just give Doyle an exorbitant amount of food because he, unlike most humans and most other dogs, doesn't overeat. So that's actually kind of nice. So I can give him however much I want and he'll just eat until he's not hungry anymore and then he'll stop eating. For whatever reason, I always drink out of a water bottle. I feel like I drink more water when I have a straw, randomly, I don't really know why. Anyway, um, so I actually went to my P.O. box for the first time. I know I had said a couple of vlogs back that I got a P.O. Well, it's not a P.O. box. I keep saying P.O. box, but it's not a P.O. box. It is a mailbox at the UPS store. So it's like a physical mailbox. So you can send whatever you want. You can send regular mail. You can send um, FedEx, UPS, DHL, carrier pigeons, whatever. Anyway. I got some really cute cards. This is from Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. It's so cute and festive. <laughs> um, I like the little puppy. It's like a little Scotty dog. So cute. So nice. Thanks, Lynn. And then I got this other card, which is like super nice, but I, there's no return address on it. And um, this is the envelope. You guys can see my address, because that's fine. Um, but there's no return address on it, so I don't know who it's from, and it's not signed. And she sent this really pretty, here, I'll show you, hold on. Well, all I know is the individual's first name starts with the letter K. And it says, Merry Christmas, Emily, love your channel. I sent you some of my favorite washi, hope you like them, K. It just says K, who's K? If you're K, let me know in the comments, all right? Because I don't know who to thank, because I don't know who you are, because there's no, there's no name. But here's, oh my gosh, there's so much washi. Oh, I'm so excited. Look how pretty. So there's this washi sample. So cute. It's not really going to focus, but it is really cute, you guys. And then, oh my gosh, this is really cute too. She made some washi samples for me. How sweet. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh, I love this one. It's super pretty. Here, I'll show the other side. They're like peonies. Are, are they peonies? I don't know. They... It's like a watercolor, but it looks like, do you guys see that? It's so, that the one that my finger is touching, I think that one's so pretty, wow. Oh, look at all this other floral stuff. Nice, it's like floral and travel. Oh, I think that's so pretty. Okay, anyway, sorry, I keep talking about it, but I'm not showing it, ha 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 ha. These are pretty too, oh, I love them. Well, thank you, Kay, Mystery Kay, whoever you are. Thank you so much for the washi samples and they're really, really cute card. 
Look, it's so cute. It's really, really cute. So thanks, you guys. I was so excited to go to my mailbox today and actually have mail, so haha. <laughs> today, I've just been in like this really weird mood. And I think, I mean, it's been like a really good day, but I've just been in this like really odd mood. And I think it's because there's a combination of things going on, you guys. Okay, so let me run through the combination of things. So I'm leaving tomorrow morning, which is actually like in a couple of hours because I live a really far ways away from the Minneapolis St. Paul airport. My flight's at seven. The airline always tells you to get there two hours early. And especially during holiday travel time, I'm definitely gonna try to get there at least an hour and a half early. You know what I'm saying? Um, because really for domestic flights, you don't need to be that crazy early. But I have to check a bag, so I need to make sure that I can do that. So my flight actually leaves at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, which by the time you see this, I will already be in Florida um, because I'm gonna upload this at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So my flight takes off at 7 a.m., which means that I need to theoretically be at the airport at 5 a.m., which means that I need to leave here at 4 a.m., okay? So let's just break down that timeline. Right now, it's snowing outside. I think I showed, yeah, I showed you guys that earlier um, with the pretty snow. Well, people that think it's pretty. It is pretty, I will give it that, um, but it's kind of a pain in the butt when you gotta drive in it. So it is still a little snowing a little bit tonight. Um, the road should be clear by like 3.30ish, so I am planning on leaving here at 3.30. My uncle is taking me to the airport. He is the one that's gonna be watching Doyle while I'm gone. So he is taking me to the airport at 3.30, and yeah, so, um, so I think I'm in a good mood because I'm like leaving this frozen tundra and going to the warmth um, for like a lot of days, so that's gonna be cool. And the vlogs will get better, you guys. I won't say I'm so boring anymore because I'm not gonna be boring when I'm in Florida because there's gonna be stuff going on and there's gonna be more people around to harass with the video camera. <laughs> so look out, family members, I'm gonna get you. Obviously, if they don't wanna be on camera, I'm not gonna put them on camera, but you know, it's all good. And then also, a cool thing today, um, I got mail for the first time, so that was amazing. Like, not the first time ever, but I'm just saying like, you know, the favorite daughter Emily mail, which was kinda cool. And then, earlier today, while I was at work, I had 5,000 subscribers, like, like that is nuts you guys. I think I said this before, but that means like 4,000 of you have decided to watch my videos and be like, you know what? I'm gonna hit that subscribe button this year. Like, that's crazy. Because I was at around 1,000 this time last year or like right at the new year. So like a couple weeks before or whatever. But oh my gosh. That's kind of insane to think about. And I know, like, my channel is quite small, considering there's, like, these huge channels. Like, what did PewDiePie just hit? 50 million subscribers? Like, that's ridiculous. Like, totally ridiculous. And he even says it's ridiculous, but whatever. So in the grand scheme of things, like, I'm a really, really small channel, but that's crazy. But, you know, the thing is, if you're ever considering getting into YouTube, like, just do it. I mean, it took me a long time to get to 5,000. It took me a long time to get comfortable in front of the camera. And that's still something that I'm working on. And even when I'm editing, it's kind of like, okay, I should have done this differently. I should have done that differently. Um, you know, you gotta kind of just get over it and push out your content because no one watching is thinking the same thing you are. Um, maybe, maybe somebody is, but most of the time they're not gonna comment on it if they are thinking it. So it's all about just getting comfortable in front of the camera and learning how to edit and doing all those things and practice, practice, practice. That's the only thing you can do is practice at it. You're not gonna be great at baseball your first time out. What do you gotta do? You gotta practice. So I feel like video is kind of the same thing. And then also, you know, getting comfortable with yourself, focusing on whatever content that you wanna produce. Um, I was actually just talking to my uncle today about YouTube because he, um, I just posted my messenger bag uh, whipping post um, video, which was my last, no, couple videos back now that this is gonna be up. I keep thinking like, how many days ago is this? <laughs> anyway, my brain is like not functioning properly. And we were talking about YouTube and you know, he was wondering like how I decided to start YouTube and like all that kind of stuff, which I find interesting. And you know, he kind of sees digital media in a different, way than I do. So it was just nice to kind of like hear from an outsider's perspective because I'm so like ingrained into it now of what I'm doing and where I'm trying to take my channel and you know I've got all these like big goals and stuff that I want to try to hit which I will be talking about in a future video. 
shameless plug. But you know, I was talking to him about just being authentic with me and it took me a long time to do that. And you know, maybe I'll talk about that in a future video if you guys are interested in like my feelings on YouTube and my feelings on being a content creator and stuff like that. And kind of the things that people don't talk about or are afraid to talk about. I don't know, like just being authentic and being you and like how to deal with certain things, like how to deal with product offers and how to deal with brand sponsorships and how to deal with those things that kind of come your way and how to be graceful about it, but also say no. I know there's a lot of people on YouTube saying yes just for a paycheck and that's just like totally not my thing. And if you guys have watched me for like more than a minute, you probably know that. I do YouTube for fun. I really do, I do it for fun. If it makes me money, all the better. That's fantastic. But this is not my main source of income and I do it just for the sheer joy of sharing. And I love video editing. I think it's super fun. Um, something in the future that I want to do is, you know, buy some new equipment and things like that. And some of the revenue from the videos is going to help me do that, which is awesome. But yeah, so I don't know. Let me know if you guys want to see a video on kind of the back end stuff of YouTube and like feelings about it after now being on YouTube for a while um, and being consistent as well. Kind of not the good, the bad, and the ugly, but maybe the good, the bad, and the ugly. I don't know. I don't know what my title would be. But um, let me know if you have specific questions about YouTube or getting started on YouTube or how to deal with certain things, um, how to deal with trolls and like haters and you know, those kind of things too, whatever. Not that I have too many, but I have dealt with some and um, yeah, there's some pretty easy fixes that you can do. So I am gonna close out the vlog here because I have been yammering on for my thing little says 16 minutes. So let's see if I can cut that down a little bit. I am going to try to edit all of this footage and get it uploaded tonight. So it'll be scheduled for tomorrow because I really don't want to upload on the plane. Um, I don't mind uploading like hand videos, but uploading, or not uploading, but editing face videos on a plane when you're like, right next to somebody is really awkward when they're like that's you on the you what what they don't get it and it's gonna be even funnier because i'm gonna be wearing a youtube t-shirt tomorrow <laughs> so that'll be even funnier but i'm not going to edit this video on the blade i'm not going to do it i promise so anyway i am gonna let you guys go that is a wrap on vlogmas day 16 the day i hit 5,000 subscribers on my channel what so I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. It is gonna get more interesting tomorrow because I'm gonna be in Florida with my family. So we are gonna do some fun things. I will take you along on the journey and you will get to meet, well, I think you guys have already met my mom and my dad um, if you go way back on the channel, but I don't think I've ever shown my brother. So my brother will be on the channel tomorrow. So thank you guys all so much for the love and support. Big internet hugs for everybody. Here, come on in, come on in, let's give a hug, let's give a hug, okay. All right, and I will be back with Vlogmas Day 17 tomorrow in Florida.